Hello again. I was asked to simulate what we call a harmonic absorber or tuned mass damper. The principle is easy. If we have such a system, we can add another mass and this mass will play the role of a damper. It will absorb some energy of the system by its motion without having a damper in the system. If we have a look here, we have these two systems and as you can see we have this kind of motion now once this mass is released you will notice the difference it's obvious that we have more damping in this system and the main reason behind that is this mass and this is what we are going to do now in PTC Creo here we have three simple components. We have a frame, and then we have this mass. It's considered the big mass, let's say, and we have this small mass. If we try to drag this, it moves only in this way, and this big mass moves only in this direction. So the task now is to simulate the motion when having this mass and when we don't have it. Here you need to define some limits of the motion. And that can be done easily by defining these constraints. We have planner between this face and this one. And for the translation axis one, we have this plane coincident with this one here. And then we can define the motion limits. So to the left, I have minus 120. And to the right, I have 120, which means this body goes this way and this way. And finally, I defined another planner constraint, but this time with some offset or distance, which is 50. So now this mass can only move in this direction. And then I defined a slider here because I want this mass to move only in this direction. I also have some reference points which I will use to define the springs here and here and here. Now, if you go to applications mechanism, as you can see, I have a spring here, which is defined already. And I have another spring and it's defined here. So now I have two springs and let's try to run both cases. To start, I will suppress this mass and now I only have this symbol system. I have spring mass system. I need to give this mass an initial condition. That's why I will drag it somewhere here. And then I will run the analysis. Now, let's check the response of this analysis. So here, if I would define a new measure, I'm interested in measuring the acceleration of this point. So here, and then we need it in the Y direction. And this is the same as placing an accelerometer there. Once you're done, make sure to select the last analysis definition, the measure, and here, it's obvious that we don't have any damping in the system. Before you run the analysis, don't forget to define the gravity and the mass. I have the gravity in this direction. Now, I will unsuppress this feature. And I need to unsuppress this spring. Now, drag this once more. And then hit run. Here it's obvious that we have a spring.
And now let's check the response once again. As you can see, it's obvious that we have some damping here, even though we don't have any damper in the system. So this mass was used as a damper here. Let's try to check the position. So here I need to check the position of the same point and in the y direction and here. If you select both of them, you will have these responses. The one in this color, which is this one, is the acceleration and you can tell that from the unit and the other one is the amplitude and you can tell it from the unit here. Now if I select this analysis and select both of them here and here I will have a different response because this system here has no damping and this is the analysis we already did without having this mass. So the conclusion is that now we have a damped system even though we don't have a damper. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.